How many times have you looked at your AI generated images and thought to yourself, it looks good, but this part is out of whack. I personally noticed imperfections with many AI models when it comes to limb generation or text generation, also group images. It often happens that I want many people to be depicted in a single image, but an LLM doesn't include details in that generated image, so faces look blurry and details are missing. The great news is that there is at least one tool on the market that helps you turn your dream dreams and desires into perfectly shaped and refined images. Whether you want a photorealistic upscaled image of a person, a perfectly structured banner for a party, where every word is spelled correctly, or an upscaled version of an existing image, ReCraft seems to be that tool. It gives tons of creative control so you can easily communicate your thoughts to the AI model with zero frustration. Any style, any format, any Anything you desire, this tool is for professionals. It delivers that precision and speed many of us need. Let's put ReCraft to the test. Let's not waste any more time. Let's dive deep. on the homepage of ReCraft and here I can start a project from scratch or follow any of the suggested presets. You can clearly see what these templates are for. A vector generation would be for a logo. The upscale template is to improve the quality of an existing file, mockups, erase area, and so on. Let's create a new project from scratch. This interface is super minimalist. Depending on my needs, I can start with an image, a frame, or mockup or I can import my own images. Let's review these options one by one, starting with an image. The model is defaulted to ReCraft version three raw. Cute, fuzzy shark in a tank. I can specify the dimensions here. Let's go with 16 by nine. I can also customize the artistic level. Let's go with the middle ground, expressive. If you hover over this question mark, you can see exactly what it means. I'll stick with expressive so it's not too boring and not too not too much. Let's make the model create four images and three craft. All right, I have four different images. Let's pick this one. I can now adjust colors, color spectrum, saturation, brightness, contrast. Click on fine tune. I can now try to modify this image. I'm going to make it extremely similar. Let me modify this prompt just a bit. Cute fuzzy shark with a hat. I'm going to click modify image. All right, the image came out very similar, but now the shark is wearing a hat. Perfect for those who want tiny modifications and not a complete change of an image. If I click on this variate button, I can change dimensions. How about vector art? Let's test that. Let's make it almost identical. Let's click on modify image. Oh wow, look at this. Perfect. Here you can see the number of colors used. The vector graphic can be exported into any of these formats. I got an idea. What if we try to turn this image into a logo? Let's click on this remove background button and ReCraft is now removing the background. Perfect. Now let's reduce the number of colors from 53 to let's say five. Let's switch the artistic tone to simple, modify image image and now it looks more like a logo i can even pick a palette look at this options all oh, right i like this one let's test the last style illustration but for that i will create a totally unique prompt sleek stylized shark gliding through a futuristic underwater city lit by bioluminescent lights dynamic for images recraft and this is what we have. Take a look at these images. Just out of curiosity, I wanna turn this illustration into a realistic photo. Let's see what it comes out as. Let's fine tune this image, photorealism. Quite similar, modify image. I like the deep ocean scene illuminated by streaks of light above, blending sci-fi aesthetics. 
with marine surrealism. The color palette is rich, it creates a dramatic yet tranquil atmosphere. How about we pick faded nostalgia? Let's modify this image one more time. And this is what faded nostalgia looks like, a very different vibe. Now, I want to try something different. Let's click on import image. I have this image of myself that's been purposely resized into smaller dimensions. Let's try to upscale it. There are two different options, crisp upscale and creative upscale. Let's click on crisp upscale. Take a look at this crisp quality. I also want to explore this option. Let's click on creative upscale and see how this photo changes. All right, all right, very interesting. Creative Upscale is mostly designed to help improve details and anatomy of an image. And I can see that with Creative Upscale, my face is slightly different and the color of my eyes is now green or hazel, I would say. So clearly the model was doing a bit of creative work here. Before I finish this video, I want to show you something else. By the end of this year, I'm expecting to hit 1 million subscribers hopefully let's think positively so what if i prepare a poster ahead of time for this kind of event if of course the universe grants me the gift punk graphic this is my prompt shark numbers 1 million subscribers celebrations 2025 recraft frame and take a look at this isn't it awesome there are several options i can choose from i like this one for a more precise layout and better looking banner i could also use the frame tool insert text shark numbers 1 million subscribers let's make it a bit smaller like that December 31st, 2025. Let's make that a bit bigger. This is my text. I picked pop graphic. Now this is going to be my prompt. I want it to be a shark theme. So I have enough information to let the model know what kind of style I want and where I want my text to be placed. Let's click on recraft frame. And this banner is way better than the previous one. Take a look at these variations. I love this option. This banner is also more relevant to the shark theme. If you click on styles for inspiration purposes, you can look through different styles, play with models and fine tune your unique style. So what do I think about Recraft? Right now, I don't see a better image generator than Recraft. And that's because this particular engine allows you to guide models across nuanced intricacies of art. It's not just one prompt, one image. It's one prompt, another prompt, to modify the first prompt, creativity level, color level adjustment, creative freedom setup, detail level adjustment, and so on and so forth. Recraft is a much smarter creator with a higher IQ compared to similar products within the same category. So my verdict is Recraft takes 10 out of 10. Yes. And you can try this tool for free. The basic plan is only $12 a month. If you use my promo code SHARK11, you'll get $11 off any paid plan just test this tool and see how good it is for yourself i'm done for now and i'll talk to you soon ivan kv out